You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. Father, we just commit everything to you this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Why don't we just give the Lord our best clap? Amen. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, isang maulang hapon po sa inyong lahat. No, but basically, if you are in uh, in Luzon, I think you're, ex- you're also experiencing rains like most of us here. No, But anyway, it is a blessed Sunday. It is a good Sunday. If you're still uh, standing, no, it is a good time for you to be seated. Okay, And uh, let me just introduce myself just in case you are joining us for the very first time. My name is Pastor Carlo Panlilio. And I'm the senior pastor of Destiny Church. No, me and my wife Shalene, we have been pastoring Destiny Church for the last 23 years. No, and we are we are so delighted that we that you can join us this afternoon. No, so shout out po sa lahat ng first timers and even all the maybe maybe I think some are joining us for the second or third time. Welcome din po sa inyong lahat. Praise God. No, so. This afternoon, we are continuing on our series about raising up godly families. No, uh, allow me to uh, share something with you. No, that uh, uh, my well, one of my mentors, no, Pastor Peter Tanchi, who is a pastor of a CCF CCF Church. No, he wrote a book entitled Motivation um, or Motivate. No, and has actually. Uh, has to do with families. No? And this is what he says in the introduction. Sabi niya, no? More than schools, church, classmates, peers, media, or other environmental factors, parents exert the greatest influence on their children. No? However, despite our good intentions, the fact is today's families are in crisis. No? Makikita daw po natin that uh, the family is basically crumbling. It is being assailed or being attacked no, from different fronts. Nandiyan po yung pagtaas ng divorce cases. No? Like for example, in, in the case of our nation, though wala tayong divorce law, that doesn't actually stop uh, marriages or, or, or uh, couples no, from uh, being separated. No? Bagamat wala mismo yung actual divorce law, still a lot of couples choose to be separated. No, we are also being attacked by drug addictions. Alam natin yan. No? And there's of course uh, no, a single parenthood and you know, social media with distorted values. Yan po yung mga different uh, fronts whereby the family is being attacked or assailed. Okay. Interestingly po, no, in uh, 1934, okay, there's a book that came out entitled Sex in Culture. No? You might think that uh, medyo matagal na tong librong ito. It was written by a British anthropologist uh, by the name of John, Dr. John D. Unwin. No? And what he did was he did an in-depth study of 80 major civilizations, okay? ancient civilizations, 80. That's a lot. No? That rose and fell over a period of 4,000 years. So, masusing uh, research po. No? Actually, itong si, si Anwen, no? uh, more than just being an anthropologist, he was a well-known historian. So, pinag-aralan niya yung kasaysayan ng 80 civilizations for 4,000 years. And he discovered no, that a common thread that ran through all of them. No? And then here's what he found out. In each instance, the early history of each civilization show a society that was politically, economically, and religiously conservative. There were strong moral values and a heavy emphasis on family. Now, you're talking about civilizations that happened yun nga, over 4,000 years. Okay? Ancient civilizations. No? At yung peak daw nila, ang na- na- napansin niya, there was a heavy emphasis on the family. Each of these civilizations reached a pinnacle of power based on these conventional values. But then, something happened. May nangyari daw. As each society became increasingly liberal in politics, economy, in religious life, moral values declined. And as moral values declined, the family began to disintegrate. Now, check this out. As the family disintegrated, nung nasira daw yung pamilya in these ancient societies, okay, 
the society also fell into anarchy. The nation became internally weak and in most cases was conquered by another nation. In all 80 cases, no, Anwen, Dr. Anwen attributed the fall of each civilization to the disintegration of the family. No? Uh, kasama dito yung ano yung uh, 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 Inca tribe no in 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 Mexico and yung uh, yung Roman civilization no in fact another book uh, that was written naman by Carl Zimmerman no in his book Family and Civilization this time this was a book written in 1947 no he compared the breakdown of various cultures with the parallel decline of no family life in those cultures ito naman he found eight specific patterns of domestic behavior that characterize the downward spiral of each culture he studied check this out ito yung mga characteristics that were included okay in uh, in the decline of of uh, the family and the culture example po marriage law loses its sacredness is frequently broken by infidelity in divorce Traditional meaning of marriage ceremony is lost. Okay? Number three, feminist movements abound. Number four, increased public disrespect for parents and authority in general. Number five, increased public... Uh, uh, number five, uh, acceleration of juvenile delinquency, promiscuity, in other words, premarital sex, no, and rebellion. Number six, growing refusal of people with traditional marriages to uh, accept family responsibilities. Number seven, growing acceptance of adultery. And number eight, increasing interest in and the spread of sexual perversions and sexual-related crimes. You know, now, check this out. This was written in 19, 1947. No? I think si Carl Zimmerman would, no, would, would be sh totally shocked no? knowing what has happened to society right now. Okay? At ito yung kanyang mga nakita in the decline of civilizations, no? And finally, one another, one other uh, author and historian, ano, itong si Edward Gibbons. Sinulat naman niya yung decline and fall of the Roman Empire. He identifies five major causes that contribute no, to the fall of Rome. And you need to understand no, that during that time, no, when Rome was at its peak, no, it was almost improbable na babagsak yung Roman Empire. No? In fact, uh, no, yung isang, uh, isang Roman, si Seneca, no, a famous Roman warned that Rome would fall, even telling people why it would fall. And yung mga tao, ang response, eh, pinagtawanan yung, yung prediction ni Seneca no, and his warnings. They ignored his warnings. In the words of Seneca, one of the foundational reasons Rome would fall was the fact that, look at this, they divorce in order to remarry and they marry in order to divorce. Seneca warned that family breakdown would destroy the Roman Empire, no? And basically, that is exactly what happened, no? Yan nga na ang nakita ni Edward Gibbon sa kanyang sa kanyang libro, no? Sabi niya, the five major causes that contributed to the fall of the Roman Empire were first, number 1, the breakdown of the family. Second, increased taxation, third, an insatiable craving for pleasure, fourth, an unsustainable buildup of ornaments. And fifth, the decay of religion. But yung number one na nakita niya was what? No, the decay of the family. Okay? So yung, yung pagbagsak na ng civilizations, obviously, no, this is not, these are not, by the way, even religious or, or Christian books. These were historical, factual books. And history tells us that the decline of 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 empires, the fall of civilizations was basically attributed many times to the decline or to the breakdown at the family level, at the most basic unit of society. Okay? And, and, and then we look at what's happening in our, in our society today and obviously, you know, there is, you know, there is a breakdown in the family. No, and I think that's why no, itong ating topic raising up godly families no is so vital and so important. No, no pero yun nga eh, why do families fall apart? What are the reasons for the breakup of families? And I believe there there are a number of factors that contribute to the breakdown of families. You know, I I read this uh, 
a short article no, by uh, a Filipino, si Margot Galang, in 2015, who wrote on the implication of broken marriages to Filipino children. And the common reasons why Filipino couples separate, no, she lists down among five, is the lack of communication no, as, no, as, being, uh, as, as contributing to the breakdown of the family. Okay, ulitin ko. In other words, a breakdown in communication leads to breakdown in the families. Okay, allow me to read Proverbs chapter 11, verse 29. Sabi po dito, Whoever brings ruin in their, in, on their family will inherit only the wind, and the fool will be the servant of the wise. In other words, no, sino daw, no, yun nga, it's a proverb, medyo matalinhaga talaga yung pagkasabi nito. No? Sino daw ang magdadala ng ruin, no? ng uh, destruction sa kanyang pamilya, no, will inherit only the wind. In other words, there's, there's nothing that you get no, from that. And, and when you think about it, I believe nobody here, no one here, wants to bring ruin or destruction in their family. Thus, we need, no, Yun nga, to, to take a look, a deeper look, no, as to, no, as to uh, communication and how it leads to the breakdown of families. And, and yun nga, you know, a breakdown of communication, uh, no, that leads to the breakdown of families. Okay? And so, my title, interestingly, I came up with this title, no, hashtag usap tayo. <laughs> no, kasi communication, eh, hashtag usap tayo. How God wants us to, mu- to communicate in our homes. No? God wants us to communicate. Eh? And God, no, there is a design. Yun nga, no? if, if, if we want to know, uh, uh, ano, if we want to find out no, eh, no, how to build a, a, a good family, we need to go to the author of the family, which is no, God himself. Okay? So, Okay, no. Uh, let's first talk about ano communication. Ano nga ba yung communication? Kailangan maunawaan natin ito. Okay, uh, I remember from uh, college no studying uh, 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 COM3, okay, speech COM in in UP no. Uh, communication is defined as the process of understanding and sharing meaning. Okay? It, this was by Pearson, J and Nelson, no? So, another definition, this time from the dictionary, yung communication that was the act or the process of using words, sounds, signs, behaviors to express or exchange information or to express ideas, thoughts, feelings. In its simplest form, no, looking at what you call, kung maalala nyo pa yung mga pinag-aralan nyo, no, yung communication cycle kung tawagin, no, the communication cycle consists of what? A sender, a message, and a recipient. Yan daw yung most... Simplest way of understanding communication or the communication process. Okay? But then again, I would like to no, say this. No, I believe that communication, real communication, goes beyond words. Okay? It goes beyond words no, being spoken and being heard. Real communication, may I propose, is about making a connection. No? The reality is, Ayaw mo lang may sabihin eh. No, gusto mong mag-connect. No? Now, example, how many of you, no, you recall, I'm sure most of us have experienced this, no? Since we are in this uh, age of technology, no? How many of you have been, uh, what's this? You've enjo- you were enjoying talking to someone on the phone, whether it be a, a video conferencing type, no, FaceTime or Messenger, video call, no, or just audio. nag enjoy kayo, nag-uusap, and all of a sudden, yun nga, no, you, the, your signal goes down, di ba? Na, na, naputol yung communication mo. Okay? No, naalala, or, or yun nga, tuma, naputol, tapos nag-connect ulit, tapos nagsasalita ka, tapos maya-maya, wala ka na palang kausap, no? No, so ang dami mo lang sinabi, yung pala wala na siya doon. Okay? Can, can you recall how does that feel? No, what was your response? How many of you, no, how many of you, uh, no, uh, no, yung response is you were annoyed. You were irritated. You were, or maybe some of you, you were frustrated, di ba? Dami mo nang nasabi, wala ka palang kausap. No, how many of you even got angry? No, 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 no. 
sinumpa mo na si Globe o si Smart, no? Ah, why si Converge, no? Depende kung internet, di ba? Why do we feel that way? Okay, because the reality is, no, we don't want to be disconnected. No, we don't just want to communicate. No, at a deeper level, we hate, no? Uh, we hate being disconnected. No? Why? For one, being disconnected wastes our time. No, parang, no, the, nawawala yung flow of thought mo. So, sino dito yun nga? Babalikan mo uli yung mga sinabi mo. Di ba? No, it, it, it undermines your productivity. No? It interrupts what you were trying to accomplish. No? Connecting, if you think about it, connecting is everything when it comes to communication. Ulitin ko ah. Connection, being connected, is everything when it comes to communication. Okay? That's why, you know, one of the phrases that we have been saying you know, throughout this pandemic, yes, it might be true because of the lockdown you know, and, uh, and the pandemic. You no, know, We might be distant, but we are never disconnected. We shouldn't. We shouldn't be disconnected. We don't want to be disconnected. No? As human beings, we long to connect. Eh? Now, here's the thing. Pagdating sa telepono, pagdating sa paggamit ng messenger, no? madali mo malaman kung disconnected ka na. Diba? Yun nga, wala ka na kausap. No? Putol na signal mo. Pero hindi ganun kadali if you are talking to people in person. Tanong, how do you know when a connection is going bad? Sana nga, madali mo lang makita na, no, for example, sa Zoom, merong si, ano, uh, ano ba yung lumalabas sa Zoom? Oh, your internet, in, oh, your internet connection is unstable. Sana ganun ka lang kadali, eh. makikita mo kagad, eh. pero in reality, minsan hindi natin, hindi natin alam na wala na pala tayong connection. No? Daldal ka pa ng daldal. No, hindi ka na pala connected dun sa taong kausap mo. Eh? And so, ano nga ba yung mga possible reasons for the breakdown of communication, especially in the family? Okay? I, I, was, no, I, I came across this article by Mary Fisher, and he proposes three things, and I added another one. No? But uh, allow me to share what uh, tung si Mary Fisher said. Sabi niya, no, these are the possible reasons for the breakdown of communication. Number one, you don't put each other first. No, I think first of all this applies to no, we're talking about family. Okay? And and more importantly, this applies to couples. This can also apply to the kids. No, okay. Ako naniniwala ako, family should be first. Yes, God is first. O automatic, God should be first. But next to God, it's family. But in the family, I believe men in the hierarchy. Yan eh. okay? And and the reality is, no, you're no, for those of you married, your husband, your wife should come first. Okay? And, and, no, and yeah, though you may have kids, you may have others to make you happy, you have friends, you may be involved with, with the rest of your family, no, you have to come to a point where you, no, you have to come to a point where you don't put each other first and experience a complete communication breakdown in the marriage. And nangyayari, no, when you, when you, when you, you know, don't put each other first, nagkakaroon tuloy ng breakdown. Okay? So, you know, I, I want to ask all the couples, no? have you ever thought, is my wife still first? Is my husband okay, still first? Yes, there's work. There's things to do at home. You have a job. You have to sweep the floors. You have to do, uh, no? uh, you have to take care of the kids. No? But you have to realize that no? your, your wife, your husband should be first. No, your children, in a way, no. Of course, no. In, in the hierarchy, no, they, no. Yung, as a family, they should be first. First than, no. First as compared to work. Okay. First, no. As compared to what uh, to even hobbies, okay, or or uh, pleasure, no. So that's one. Kaya do may breakdown ng family kasi you don't put each other first. Hindi mo na daw inuuna. Hindi na daw natin inuuna ang isat isa. Pangalawa. Family members are no longer present physically and emotionally. Okay? 
Sabi niya dito, when members of the family stop sharing things with each other, no matter how small, this is a red flag. May ibig sabihin pag ito, warning na to. Pag kunyari, hindi na daw nagsishare ang pamilya sa isa't isa, no, gaano, mang, gaano mang kaliit ito. Like, what, what do I mean? Okay? Ako, I, I really believe that families should, as much as possible, share their meals together. Okay? If, if, no, you should, no, the, the meal time is, it should be family time. Should be a good place where you can really eat together. And pag yun, even yung bagay na yun, parang, uh, what's this, nadidismiss, no, tando naman kayo lahat, pero hindi kayo sabay-sabay kumain, yan, medyo, I think, ano, red flag yan. No, no, uh, ito nangyayari, no, they might be feeling isolated. Pag kunyari, o meron isa, kahit isa lang sa pamilya, na yun nga, hindi siya madalas sumasama. No, they might be feeling isolated or judged, which could lead to people physically distancing themselves from the rest of the family. No, so yan, bantayan natin yan. Pangatlo, no, ano pa yung nag sa breakdown ng communication? When the daily stress takes over everything. No? Ano yung daily stress? No, yun nga, yung daily grind ng staff. No, yung mga bagay-bagay na actually araw-araw naman natin ginagawa. Pero yun nga, dahil sa dami nito, no, eh, na, napapabayaan natin no, yung, yung pamilya. Napapabayaan natin ng isa't isa. No, you probably don't realize it, but the stress that you feel in other parts of your life is all too often brought into your marriage. Yun nga, yung stress na nagagawa pa nito, no, hindi lang sa nag-occupy ito ng malaking bahagi sa buhay natin, yung daily grind, pero yung stress na nadadala natin sa ating pamilya. No, yung frustration, yung frustration mo sa trabaho, no, nadadala mo sa asawa mo, sa anak mo, no, and, and, uh, no, and then, yung naaapektuhan tuloy yung relationship sa family. Okay? Number four, you are no longer connected. When the physical or emotional intimacy is lacking, yan, then it's prime time for a communication no, breakdown in the family or in marriage. No, pag wala na yung, yung physical and emotional intimacy, okay, then, then you know that there's really no a breakdown in the communication no and 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 uh and you need to really take a look no as to the communication level in the family no pero paano nga ba tayo nagko-communicate have you ever ask yourself paano nga ba tayo nag-uusap sa pamilya no a pastor by the name of Adrian Rogers uh had his thoughts on this and I'd like to borrow what what he shared no no he shares five levels of how we communicate in the family. Number one, or maybe not only in the family, but also with other people. No? No? Uh, number one, he talks about the first level, yung pinakamababaw, no? the frivolous level. Let me see frivolous, no? parang shallow lang. In fact, no, uh, kinontextualize ko to sa panahon natin, sabi ko this is the MEMA level. <laughs> No, ito wala lang, wala lang talaga. No, wala ka masabi, may ma, may ma, may masabi lang. No? We just talk about you know, oy, maulan, maulap, mainit, no? We talk about sports, no? About clothes. Wala. No, small talk. Yun, and, no? And, and mga bagay na wala naman talagang minsan kabuluhan. No? In other words, yun nga, may ma. May masabi lang. The frivolous level. Okay? Now, merong mas malalim na level, ito yung tinatawag niyang factual level. Ano may factual level? Kinoin ko naman tong term na to, the Talino level. <laughs> you want to talk about facts, history, yeah, no? Okay, uh, pero hindi ka pa involved. Wala walang personal involvement, no? Pinag-usapan niyo lang mga mga yun, yung balita. Yan, no? Yung evening news, no? Sinong nanalo sa Olympics? Ilan na ang, uh, no? Uh, uh, yung mga bagay na gano'n. Uh, yung NBA Finals, yan. No? Or uh, sinong trending sa TikTok, no? Uh, factual level, no? Facts pa lang. Okay? Tapos yan, mas lumalalim. Yung third level, ito yung tinatawag naman yung fellowship level. Ano yung fellowship level? Ang term ko naman dito is the kaibigan level. Malalim na to. We go a little deeper here. 
we go beyond facts, no? We begin to talk about ideas, no? Medyo mas, you know, may, no? Uh, okay? No, judgments, philosophies, and so forth, no? Okay? Now, on, on this level, okay? Medyo nagre-risk ka na. Bakit? Medyo kasama na kasi opinion mo, eh. Hindi na lang on the factual level. Pero sinasabi mo na yung opinion mo sa iba, okay? No? The thing has become personal and we know that we may be contradicted. In other words, baka may kokontra na sa'yo dito. Kasi hindi na lang to mere facts. No? Yun nga, medyo uh, nagsasabi ka na ng uh, yun, opinions mo, ideas mo about stuff. In other words, at this point, no, you can be judged here. Okay? No? And number four, mas malalim pa na level ng communication. Ito yung tatawag niyang feeling level. So, pati nyo puro F, no? Okay? Feeling level. So, this is a deeper level. Okay? Ang tawag ko dito sa feeling level, basahin ko muna, sabi niya, we talk about how we feel about these facts, these ideas, philosophies and judgments. We kind of, all the more, open up our heart. Yan. And let somebody look into our heart. No? So, sabi ko, ah, you, look, you, you allow somebody into your heart and take a look at your heart. Ito siguro yung kapuso level. <laughs> and finally, he talks about yung freedom level. No? Hindi lang ito hanggang ano, hanggang facts, no? Or just bearing your opinions, no? Itong free, freedom level, sabi niya, this is the deepest level where we tell the other person everything. Ayan. We don't hold back anything. Our hurts. No? Kasi yung, yung iba... Yun dun sa feeling level, sinishare mo lang yung, yung thoughts mo, yung opinions mo eh. You bear your, in a way, you bear your heart. Pero ito, you bear your hurt. No? Iba eh, ibang level na yun eh. Yung kaya mo nang sabihin sa isang tao yung mga pains mo, yung pinagdadaanan mo, yung wounds mo, yung fears mo. No? Kinakatakutan mo. Yung ideas mo, completely open. No? That, that, no? That, eh, in other words, it is a, an intimate level no in fact uh, the word here is yung intimate which is no yung alam niyo may salitang intimate comes from the latin word intimus no which means uh, inward no talagang you you bear everything inside of you very few people ever get to this level no sometimes no and, and, and ito yung ano eh ito yung level that is found supposedly in the family Kaya nga siguro, iti-term ko ito, ito yung kapamilya level. Okay? Hindi lang ito kapuso. No? Kapamilya. Okay? No? Pero alam natin, wala nang kapamilya ngayon. No? Pero, pero parang, parang isipin, hindi, hindi kami ganyan sa pamilya namin. Baka, baka mas malalim pa nga usapan natin sa mga kaibigan natin. Eh. Pero hindi, dapat nga at that level sa family. No? Yun yung ano, you are deeply connected. Eh, now, nagpa-Paul po ako dito. No? I would like to use the Paul sa, sa lahat po ng kasama na sa Zoom. But also, if you're watching via Facebook or YouTube, no? I want you to answer. Just type in. No? So, looking at those five levels, no? yung frivolous, yung factual level, yung fellowship level, feeling level, freedom level, anong level ng communication nyo sa pamilya nyo? Just, just be honest. Just, just type it in there. No? Ano nga ba? No, kasi kailangan ma- 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 makita natin eh. Ayan po, meron po tayo sa ano sa ating uh, ano paki pakisagutan na po, no? Makikita natin ko anong mga sagot no sa ating survey, may pa-survey po tayo ngayon. Ginaya ko po ang aking asawa ko. Survey, survey yes. Okay. okay, sige, sige, go ahead. No? Feeling love. Uh, okay, meron na bang ano? Anong anong lab- anong lumabas sa uh, Sige, okay lang. Kahit five pa lang. Gusto ko na makita. Five pa lang daw sumasagot. Oh, sige, sagot na po. No, wala po. Maubos po oras ko. Okay. Can I, can I see the poll? Ayan, okay. No? Ba, sabi dito, maraming mga nasa fellowship level, 43%. O, meron feeling level. No, kahit paano feeling level, 57. Pero nakakalungkot, ano? Sa family, wala pang freedom level. And I, and I think everyone for their honesty, pero, and that's why I think we need to take a look at how to, no, how does God want us to communicate? How do we achieve no, this freedom level, this, this communication that 
no there's a certain level of deep connection an intimate level in the family kasi yung nga it's the most basic yung hindi naman friendship is the most basic unit of society eh. it is the family Okay? And then, no, hindi naman sinabing when, when, hindi naman sa history, the breakdown of friendships led to the breakdown of civilizations. Eh. No, it's the breakdown of the family at the family level, at the husband and wife, at the children and, and parents level. No, so, paano nga ba? Paano nga ba dapat yung pakikitungo natin? What does the scriptures say about how we are to communicate? No, allow me to share No, some biblical principles of communication. Okay? James, no, chapter 1, verse 19 to 21, said the following. Okay? Sabi po dito, My dearest brothers and sisters, take this to heart. Be quick to listen, but slow to speak, and be slow to become angry. For human anger is never a legitimate tool to promote God's righteous purpose. So this is why we abandon everything morally impure and all forms of wicked conduct. Instead, with a sensitive spirit, we absorb God's word. You know, ito yung, ito yung ating standard. Eh. Okay? God's word, which has been implanted within our nature for the word of life, has power to continually deliver us. I believe that if we are to... to uh, No, secure our families in terms of being able to communicate well. No, and we we no as to how not to allow the breakdown of communication in the family and therefore prevent the breakdown of families. No, sabi dito ni James, ito yung mga kailangan natin gawin. We go to the Word of God. No, and he mentions here three things. Okay, actually these are in a way self-explanatory, and 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 I would like to bring you to certain ano scriptures. No, that. I believe would help us further understand no what no what James is trying to say number one, the first no usap tayo principle no okay. Okay. usap tayo principle number one okay. be no be quick to listen yan Okay? Be quick to listen. Quick to listen. No? Now, I'd like to, uh, again, no? using the poll, no? rate yourself from 1 to 5, 1 being the low, lowest, 5 being the highest. No? Sino dito you think, you believe, ito para sa ito, ha? ikaw mismo, you think you are quick to listen. No? Mabilis ka, kumaga parang uh, no? uh, magaling kang makinig. No? Marang willing kang makinig. Ikaw lang, ano? assessment mo lang sa sarili mo. Okay, one to five. Are you the kind of person that you think you are quick to listen? One being the lowest, five being the highest. Sige, sagot lang po, pati sa Facebook and YouTube, no? Okay, okay. So, based on our poll, no? Uh, a lot of people rate themselves three. Siguro average yun, no? Merong mga ilan. <laughs> Ayun, merong, merong mga nagsabi na one, no? Doon lang siya sa pinakamababa. No? Thank you for your honesty, no? hindi daw sila quick to listen. Meron naman talaga believe sa kanilang sarili, no? Hindi joke lang. Okay, for, ano, merong 33% that they believe they are quick to listen. Okay? Uh, okay. I'd like to go go over some verses here. How do we how do we know somebody is quick to listen? Proverbs 18 verse 2. Okay. Proverbs 18, verse 2, from the ESV version, basahin natin. Take a look at this. Sabi niya, A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his own opinion. Oh my goodness. Honestly, when I was going over this ano, message, no, I was, as I was, no, how I wish that I could say with all confidence that I have full integrity to share on this topic. But I was really going over the message. No, the Lord was convicting me and showing me stuff, things in my life that I need to change, things that I would like to propose in our family. No, and, and no, because nakita ko may mga bagay na kailangan ayusin eh. Yun nga no, ayoko magkaroon ng breakdown in the family, and ayoko magkaroon ng breakdown on the communication level. No, so nasabi dito yung hangal daw, no. Okay? Hindi siya hindi siya natutuwa 
na unawain ng iba. In other words, no, sabi ko nga dito, mga taong ayaw unawain ang iba. Okay? Hindi sa walang pangunawa, ayaw mo lang unawain ang iba. No? Yan yung mga taong walang patience makinig. No, sabi dito, no, ang gusto lang daw nila yung kanilang sariling opinion. Okay? They, no, they are just only about expressing their own opinion. No? Pangalawa, Proverbs 18 verse 13, sabi dito, If anyone gives an answer before he hears it, he hears, it is folly and shame. Nako. Okay? Sino po dito yung mahilig sumagot <laughs> bago, bago mo narinig yung buong kwento? <laughs> no, parang guilty ako. Minsan parang guilty ako dito eh. No, sabi ko nga dito, ang di marunong makinig, napapahiya. <laughs> And then honestly, how many of us fell into this trap that sometimes you know, we already have something to say even before we allowed other people to speak? And really, no, If you are this kind of person, if you are not quick to listen, no, many times you will, you, no, it is to your folly, it is to your shame. Ikaw din yung mapapahiya eh. Okay? In, uh, in fact, the, the, the Passion Translation says, this, it sa, says it this way, no? Listen before you speak. For to speak before you've heard the facts will bring humiliation. Grabe. No, makinig ka daw bago magsalita. No? Sino dito, no? Sino dito, alam mo kinakausap ka ni Lord? Ako, kinakausap ako ni Lord, eh. Okay? Sabi mo, for to speak before you've heard the facts will bring humiliation, no? Ma -ma Mapapahiya ka lang. Dadaling ka niya sa kahiyan. Okay? Ito, no? Pangat pangatlo doon sa... This are just... This are proverbs. This is full of wisdom. And this is God speaking to us, telling us how we need to go about, no? Our, our, our speaking, no? Our, or in this particular sense, no? Our listening. Proverbs 25 verse 12 the one who listens no valid critic no the to one who listens val, valid criticism is like a gold earring or other go or other gold jewelry eh sa mga ganda nito no medyo ito medyo matalinaga talaga sabi dito no sabi yung 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 nakikinig daw sa valid na criticism na mahirap ma-criticize na pansin niyo dalawang aspeto na tinatalakay natin patungkol sa pakikinig no ito yung pinap natututo ka mo ng makinig bago ka no bago kami sabihin ito naman yung willing kang makinig kasi alam mo pag nakinig ka no eh meron ka matututunan in other words ito yung willingness na mapagsabihan o willingness na tanggapin na no yun nga na makriticize eh. And then let's face it, no, ako, I, I don't like being criticized. But then I realize I need to hear no, uh, criticism in order for me to get better. In fact, ang dating daw sa isang taong marunong makinig, sabi dito, eh parang ano yan, gold earring, no? parang jewelry yan. Rather than na ikasasama mo, parang uh, nakaidulot po ng mabuti sa'yo. Sa, sa passion translation, ang ganda. To humbly receive wise correction adorns your life. Wow. It adorns your life with beauty and makes you a better person. Now I realize listening takes a lot of humility. It takes a lot of humility. That's why I think sometimes it's so hard to listen. Eh. Okay? Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na, no, especially siguro sa mga kalalakihan, ano, yung tinatawag nating ego. Diba? Pag may ego ka eh. No? Ay, ay, ayaw mo makinig. No? Medyo defensive tayo kagad. No? Uh, okay? we, are not, we are not quick to listen. No? Because, yeah. No, we have egos. No? Your ego may show itself in defensiveness. Sino mga defensive kagad? Ka Pag may sinasabi pa lang sa'yo, medyo defensive ka na. Now, narealize ko, ang ego, hindi lang ito sa mga kalalik. Mayroon din ng babae nito, ha? We don't want to hear what the other person has to say. And so, we tune them out no, to keep from hearing. Okay? Or sometimes, ito naman, sino dito yung asumero? <laughs> ano yung say asumero, no? You, you make an assumption na alam mo na yung sasabihin niya. 
No? Kaya hindi mo na siya pinapa, napapakinggan kasi in your mind, sasabihin niya eh. So, hindi mo talaga siya lubusang naiintindihan nung napapangyayon kasi nag-conclude ka na, alam mo na sasabihin. Yung taong may ganung palaging pananaw sa buhay, hindi yan natututo eh. Pagkatapos ang tendency nyo, nabablock mo na yung sinasabi nung tao. In other words, dun palang disconnect ka na. Kaya ang ganda nung sinabi, the first thing that the apostle, that, that James, no, she says here, sabi niya, be quick to listen. The, no, that if there's one thing that you need to be quick about, it's about listening. No? Quick, no? Kung mag, no? Meron, meron isang bagay na mabilis ka, yung pakikinig. No? And, and paano nga ba makinig? No? Bigyan ko lang kayo ng three C's. No? Number one, yung no? concentration na tinatawag. When you listen, concentrate. Focus. Isn't it true that no, when When, uh, when we are speaking, we want people to focus on what they are telling us. No, I see my, my, my daughter, no, si Catherine, no, she becomes frustrated when she sees that we are not tuned into her. And, and I think we know, we, kids know that when you're not tuned into them. All the more we as adults. E minsan masakit yun eh. Kaya parang, Kunyari, pag, pag minsan tuloy sinabi ko, ano-ano yung sana? Ibali na lang. <laughs> Oo, oh, tampo na eh. Nagtampo na. Pero, pero yung reality, and yung reality, totoo eh. Hindi mo kasi talaga pinakinggan. Hindi ka nag-concentrate eh. No? Mag-concentrate. Sabi mo nga, concentration. Concentration. Eh, no? Concentration. No? Pangalawa, Pagkatapos mo pakinggan, I think mahalaga yung tinatawag na consideration. Ano yung sabihin ng consideration? No, consider mo ano talaga yung sinabi niya. Hindi lang yung napakinggan mo, okay? Nandun na yung narinig mo siya. Pero, no, be considerate in what, no, saan siya nang gagaling? Ano pinanggagalingan nung kanyang sinasabi? No, be considerate, no, magkaroon ng tinatawag na empathy. Hey, pangatlo, clarification. Now, no, minsan may sinasabi tayo, at mahalaga to, no, that we seek to be clarified. Hey, we, we seek to be clarified. No, and, and so, no, wag, wag din tayo pag may sinabi, no, eh, meron nga kagad tayong judgment, clarify mo. Tama ba yung intindi mo? Okay? So, yun yung tatlong aspect ng pakikinig. Be quick to listen. Okay. No? Sige nga, i-rate nyo ulit yung sarili nyo, one to five. No? Kung, uh, same, same ano ha, no? based on those things, no? ikaw ba ay quick to listen pa o na-realize mo medyo, ayun, no? 100%, umatras na sa number three. Eh? Wala nang number four. <laughs> number three na lang lahat. No? Quick to listen. Okay, bum- oh, ayun, nagkaroon na number two. No? Bumaba yung rating lang. Okay yan, at least alam natin. Lord, ito yung isang bagay na kailangan nating ayusin. Maguhin mo kami, Lord. No? Matuto kaming maging humble. Makinig ng may concentration. Matutong mag, uh, no, maging considerate at mag-clarify. Pangalawa, sabi ni James, be quick to listen. Actually, ang ganda nung sabi niya. Uh, kung isasum up nyo to, Quick, slow, slow. Yan. Di ba? Quick, slow, slow. Quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to anger. Ano ba yung slow to speak? No? Hindi ba? Sige po. <laughs> Tayo po ay mag-usap. Hindi, hindi, hindi po ibig, na ibig sabihin nun. Eh? <laughs> hindi. <laughs> no? Itong mga kasama ko dito, no? Yung... Para daw si Martin, ano? Okay. Anyway, hindi po yun ang ibig sabihin yung mabagal. Ibig sabihin nung no, no, marahan. Okay, e, sige, i-rate nyo muna. Sino sa tingin nyo, slow to speak kayo? Hindi slow to think, ha? <laughs> okay. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. Kahit hindi pa, pa natin na-define ko ano to. Sa tingin nyo lang, slow to speak naman ako. 
Eh, sige nga i-rate nyo. Oh, yung iba, oh, napaka-anis, no. Big sabihin yung iba mabilis magsalita, no. Okay, uh, 33% one. No, 38% two. No. <laughs> three, yung number three, 25%, number four, wala. Number five based dito sa ating Zoom poll, no. Merong, uy, meron tayong ano. Okay, uh, 11% na they believe they are very slow to speak. Sige nga, tingnan natin kung uh, slow to speak pa kayo. Okay, ano ba sinasabi ng Bible patungkol sa no pagiging mahinahon o marahan yung pagsasalita? Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19. These are, nga, these are words of wisdom. No? Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19. When there are many words, transgression and offenses, Uh, and offense are unavoidable. But he who controls his lips and keeps thoughtful silence is wise. No, medyo isimplify ko tong sinabi sa proverb, ha? wag daw masyadong marami sinasabi. And if I will be honest to myself, ako, I think I'm not, I'm not slow to speak. I think I'm the kind of person who says a lot. No, even when I scold my kids no and ko, sabi ko lord don't help me to become slow to I, i think no my 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 kids would agree no siguro minsan gusto sabihin alam ko gusto sabihin ni Samo ni Julia okay na dad tama na <laughs> no and, and ang dami mo nang sinabi eh. na intindihan na namin no and yun nga minsan sa dami nang sinasabi ano sabi dito yung transgression daw sa ka offense are unavoidable no nakakasakit na Okay? Pero yung nagko-control dang no, ng lips, no, and keeps thoughtful silence. Ano yung thoughtful silence, no? Kung mga parang inisip mo muna, eh. Tapos, instead na sabihin mo, mm. okay? Hindi ka, hindi ko anong maisip mo, sabihin mo na kagad. No? And kadalasan, doon tayo nakakasakit, eh. Basta, sinabi ko na. Pasensya ka, prahang ka ako, eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi big sabihin, prahang ka ka. Ibig sabihin, no? Eh, No, masakit kang magsalita. Okay? Look at prover- sa verse, same verse, no? Pero the, the passion translation. If, if you keep talking, it won't be long before you're saying something really wrong. <laughs> no? Pag ikaw daw ay salita ng salita, no? hindi tatagal, may masasabi kang hindi tama. May masasabi kang mali. Sabi dito, prove you're wise from the very start. Just bite your tongue and be strong. Galing, di ba? Mm, kagat, mm, kagat labi. Mm. <laughs> no, ibig sabihin, pigilan mo sarili mo. Okay, mga asawa dyan, di ba? Mga misis, no, kadalasa yung mga nanay, minsan, madalas, ito yung problema, eh, di ba? Pag umaria na yung, di ba? No, sabi dito, hindi. No, kagat labi. No, bakit? With many words, there is transgression. Before long, you will say something that is wrong. Okay. O pangalawang puntos no sa Proverbs ulit patungkol sa no patungkol sa slow to speak Proverbs 21:23 He who guards his mouth no and his tongue guards himself from troubles kaling yung iniingatan daw yung kanyang dila yung kanyang bibig iniingatan niya ang sarili niyang mapahamak okay tanong Sino na ditong napahamak dahil sa mga sinabi mo? Di ba? May, may, poll, may poll daw ba? Huwag na tayong mag-poll. Alam natin, no? maraming napapahamak sa mga, dahil sa mga sinabi natin. Ang problema, pag may nasabi ka, hindi mo na mabawi yun eh. Di ba? No? Pag may sinabi ka minsan, hindi, alam, may mga bagay akong na-realize ko. No? Tinipe ko. Eh, hindi ko na mabawi. Isa kahit i-delete mo na screenshot na ng iba. <laughs> Di ba? Nag-viral na. Di ba? May, yun nga, may resibo ni. No? Pero hindi. Kaya, kaya dapat pa talaga slow to speak. No? Ingatan mo daw sasabihin mo nang hindi ka mapahamak. No? Sabi sa Colossians, look at what the Apostle Paul said. Third thing about slow to anger. Dapat daw, no, okay, no, puno ka na, ano, ayun, mahinahon at magalang. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Let your conversation be always full of grace, 
puno ng kahinahunan. Okay? Ma- ma- marahan, mahinahon. Full of grace. Season with salt. Para daw inasnan. Di ba? May masarap yung ma- may alat. <laughs> no? So that you know how to answer everyone. Ah, ganun pala kung paano maki... Kung paano mag... Kung pa- para daw... Para alam mo daw kung paano sumagot ng tama. No? Na season with salt. No? Full of grace. Okay? In other words... Ito sa mga kabataan. No? Pero hindi rin sa, sa pakikitungo mo sa asawa mo. Ako tinitingnan ko, Lord. Yun nga, min, minsan pati yung pati yung pati yung response lang eh, hindi marahan eh. Minsan napapansin ko sa ko, tinawag ako, Honey, Ah! Oh! Hindi, <laughs> 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 so, ba't, ba't ganun? Ba't ganun? Ba't ganun? Di ba? Ba't ganun ako sumagot? Di ba? Ba't ganun ka sumagot? No? Parang hindi... <laughs> Parang hindi salt yung season. Ano ba na season? Toyo siguro. Toyo. No? Sabi hindi salt lang. Wag toyo. Diba? Season with toyo. Eh, tinoyo yung sagot. Diba? Wag. Wag. No? Sabi dito, so that no, you may know how to answer everyone. Ang ganda sa The Passion Translation. Let every word you speak to be drenched with grace. Tempered with truth and clarity. For then you will be prepared to give a respectful answer to anyone who asks about your faith. Galing. No? Tempered with, no, drenched with grace, tempered with truth and clarity. For then you will be able to give a respectful answer to everyone. Okay? No? Kasama pa rin doon, Proverbs 15 verse 1 sa New Living Translation. A gentle answer deflects anger. No? Oh? No, pag may galit na, yan, sabihin natin, no, may galit na sa'yo, mainit na ulo. Ano daw, ang, ano daw ang panangga? Ano daw ang panlaban sa galit? Gentle answer. Hindi, no, ay sino dito, no, no, sinabayan mo. <laughs> Di ba? Sinabayan mo eh. No, look at what, ang, ang ganda ng Bible eh. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. Ayun, kaya nagkainitan lalo eh. No? Okay? No, dahil sa harsh words, mas lalong nag-init. Proverbs 15, verse 1. Same verse, no? Pero sa ESV, a soft answer. Ang ganda. May gentle, soft. Soft answer. Sisigawan ka na. No? Eh, gusto mo minsan makipagsigawan din. Pero, ah, uh, Ani, yan, di ba? Ang ganda nun eh. Ah, daddy, mami, yan. Ay, oo, oo, oo naman, pero yan. Pero pag makipagsabayan ka, mas lalong iinit, di ba? O, Proverbs 15 verse 28, no? Sub, another sub point. Sabi ko dito, okay, paano ba maging slow to speak, no? Or, I mean, uh, oh, slow to speak pa rin tayo, no? Okay. Sabi dito, slow to speak, Proverbs 15, 28. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Okay? In other words, dapat daw pinag-iisipan ng gusto. Okay? The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer. Kaya, kaya nagiging dahan-dahan yung pagsagot mo kasi pinag-isipan mo muna. Eh. Hindi ka lang basta sumagot. Pinag-isipan mo muna. Eh, nag-isip ka. No, da, and yun daw yung heart ng righteous. No? Pinag-isipan niya yung kanya isasagot. Pero yung mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Wala. Basta sabihin niya yung gusto niya sabihin. Wala siyang pakialam. New Living Translation sabi, the heart of the God, he thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. O, pang, uh, another sub point. No, nilagay ko dito, iwasan ng pag insulto patutsyada at destructive criticism. Slow to speak, kasama dyan yung alin. No, iwasan yung pag-iinsulto, patutsyada at destructive criticism. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. But now is the time to get rid of anger, rage, malicious behavior. I mean, minsan yung patutsyada, no? I mean, parinig. Hindi, hindi maganda yung parinig. Sabi ng iba, slow to anger ako, nagpaparinig lang ako. Hindi, kasama yun dun sa ano. I mean, slow to speak, no? Hindi slow to speak, dinadaan mo sa parinig. Eh, hindi, hindi maganda yun. 
no? No, kasi minsan sa parinig kasama doon yung hindi mo maiwasan may pag-iinsulto eh. Now, minsan dinadaan natin sa joke. Joke sa iyo, pero insulting na doon sa receiver. Fuck. Tapos yun pa, destructive criticism. Kaya sabi dito, get rid of this anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, no? And dirty language. Of course, kasama sa slow to speak, no? Eh, Huwag kang gumawit ng, gumamit ng mga salitang makakapanakit. Huwag kang magmura. No, huwag kang magmura. Eh, huwag kang mag-insulto. No, sabi niya na verse 9, Don't lie to each other. For you have stripped off your old sinful nature and it's all its wickedness. No? On the other hand, no, lagay ko dito, taong may heart. Ay, hindi pala taong may heart. Totoong may heart. Ay, totoong may heart. Sabi kasi si Ephesians 4.15, Instead, We will speak the truth in love. Galing, ano? So, iwasan yung anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, dirty language. Instead, no, bagkos ito daw. No? Yung ating pananalita, no, sabi, bagamat totoo. Ibig sabihin, may love. No? Sa, hindi porket. No? Minsan kasi binigay na natin. Eh. No? Truth hurts. Yeah, truth hurts, but real truth also loves it. Eh. No? no, you can say something true in a very loving way. Slow to speak yan. No, sabi dito, instead we will speak truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of His body, the church. Sige nga, rate yourself again. No? Kung uh, slow to speak ka ba talaga? Eh, sino mga ano, sino sa, based on those verses, Ayun, ano? Ayan, naging honest na tayo, naintindihan na natin. So, kailangan nating improve talaga yung ano, pagiging slow to speak, no? Sabi dito sa Paul natin sa Zuma, okay, meron ng 29% na, no, na-realize nila hindi sila slow to speak. Another 29% na number to lang ang rating nila. No, tapos merong 38%, no, na at least average, no, wala nang 4 and 5. No? Okay. And finally, number three. Anong sabi ni James? No, quick, slow, slow. Quick to listen. No, slow to speak. Usapang principle. Usap, no, uh, usap tayo principle number three. Slow to anger. Sino dito ang slow to anger? Sige nga, rate yourself. One to five. No, sa tingin nyo lang, hindi uh, ka talaga nagagalit. Hindi ka madaling magalit. Okay. Sige, okay, no. O, uh, ano sagot? Ay, mayroon mga ano, hindi magagalitin dito, okay? Oh, mayroon mayroon ano, 14% na hindi magagalitin, no? Mga 4, no, 4 ang ano nila sa galit. Mayroon naman 3, 38% at mayroon mga umaamin na magagalitin talaga sila, no? 1 and 2, 25% parehas. Okay. Tingnan natin kung magagalitin ka nga ba o hindi. If you're slow to anger or not. Ano nga ibig sabihin ng slow to anger? James chapter 1 verse 19. Diba sabi kasi natin kanina, slow to anger. Pero ang sa amplified version ito sinabi, slow to take offense. Oh! Hindi pala yung slow to get angry, hindi ka lang pa sa galit kasi iba, hindi nga pinakitang galit. Hurting naman. <laughs> No, ibig, ibig sabihin pala nito, hindi lang yung hindi ka mabadaling magalit, pero hindi ka rin madaling masaktan. No? Kaya, kaya naalala ko isang verse, love covers a multitude of sins. Ibig sabihin, no, mas mapasinsoso ka eh, mas mapagpatawad ka eh. Hindi ka madaling ma-offend. No? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 9, sabi dito, Do not be eager in your heart to be angry. For anger dwells in the heart of fools. No, so sabi sa Ecclesiastes, wag ka daw, no, wag ka daw mabilis na umini ta ulo, kasi yung anger dwells in the heart of fools. No, sa amplified version yan, sa Proverbs seventeen twenty seven, sabi dito, he who has knowledge restrains and is careful with his words. No, pansin yung makakarilit lahat yan eh. No, no, quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. 
He who has knowledge retains and is careful with his words. Maingat daw sa kanyang pananalita. And a man of understanding has a cool spirit. Ano ibig sabihin ng cool spirit? No? Self-control, even-tempered. Okay? The Passion Translation says this, Can you bridle your tongue when your heart is under pressure? Ito, you know? so, ito yung reality. Pag kunyari puno, puno na tayo ng pressure, stress, na banggit natin kanina yung stress. In other words, medyo marami ka talagang pinagdadaanan. Minsan dyan tayo nagiging magalitin, irritable, mainit ang ulo. Kaya mo bang pigilan daw yung dila mo pag gusto mo nang pumutok? Yun, ginagawa yung excuse. Eh, pumutok lang ako. Yeah. Eh, pero sabi sa Bible, no? can you bridle your tongue when your heart is under pressure? That's how you show you are wise. No? An understanding heart. Ah, ang puso daw na mapag-unawa keeps you cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. <laughs> collected. Parang ano lang, Shino on Rufia lang. <laughs> so, collected. No, no matter what you're facing. No, si Pastor Ashina kasi pala yung nakikita. Yeah. Okay? Ang ganda ng sinabi dito sa Proverbs 16 verse 32. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He who rules his own spirit than he who takes a city. Wow. Anyone here you want to be called, no? especially among the men, di ba? Gusto natin, no, no, we, are, we want to know that we are tough, we are mighty. We can take on a hit. We can, we are conquerors. Diba? Parang ganun eh. Ang galing sabi, sino daw, no, yung mapagtimpe, slow to anger, is better than the mighty. Okay? Kasi kung meron isang bagay na kaya mong kung maga parang kontrolin, ano, yung sarili mo, he who rules his own spirit, than he who takes a city. Proverbs 16 verse 24. Okay. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Anong opposite ng being slow to anger? Dapat no, you act in what you call a, no, a counter spirit. You know, no? And what is the counter spirit of anger? It's about being kind. No? Sabi sa Bible, di ba? When you talk about love, and love should be evident in the family. No, sabi ko nga, may na-realize ako when the Bible defines love, it is so practical eh. No, it's not, it doesn't talk about feelings or, no, or, or being romantic. Ang ganda sana kung sinabi ni Paul, love is a many splendor thing. Love lifts us, lifts us up where we belong, where the eagles fly on the mountains. Ay, hindi eh. Paul says love is patient and love is kind. You know, opposite ng, when you talk about anger, it's about being rude. Eh. And of course, I take a look at my life. No? Sometimes, I, yun, nga, yun yung nag-create ng disconnect sa family, disconnect sa wife, sa husband, sa, sa mga anak. No? And ako, I think I, I need to change and I need to ask forgiveness for my family for sometimes no, being quick to anger and being rude. No? Sorry mga anak. Eh, dito sila eh. No, kind words are like honey. No, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. No, I believe the Lord wants to bring healing in the families. No, wants to bring the families to a place of connection. Yung ay marami mga pamilya ngayon disconnected na, distant na, di na nag-uusap. No, kung mag-usap man, yun nga, frivolous level, may ma-level lang. No? Uh, mababaw lang. Hindi ka makapag-share ng mga bagay na no, gusto mong sabihin. Minsan, nandun yung fear. Baka ma-judge ka. No, baka magtawanan ka lang. Masa yun, no, mga drama. No, baka magalit. No? So, ang dami ng walls, ang dami ng ano eh, na hindi... No, supposedly, yung family is no, the place of freedom. Eh. Diba? Yung, yung idea, naalala nyo pa yung mga mag-asawa, ba't kayo nag-asawa? Diba? You have always thought na yung mapapangasawa mo is someone na you can really bear all things. No? Maiiyakan mo. Hindi ka maja-judge. No, pag may sinabi ka, no, we need to go back to that. Eh. And ito, 
biblical principles, no? Okay. Quick, slow, slow. Quick to listen. Slow to speak, slow to anger. Okay. And one last verse, no? To conclude this. Finally, usap tayo. 3 John chapter 1, verse 13 to 14. Ang ganda ng sinabi ito. I think napaka-appropriate nito sa panahon natin ngayon. No? Si, si John sumulat, sabi niya ganun. No? This was written 2,000 years ago, but I believe has so much weight no? in a different context today. Sabi ni John, I had, so, I had much to write to you, but I would rather not write with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon and we will talk face to face. Ano siya sabi ni John? Sabi ko dito, no? Huwag mo daw i-text. Mag-usap daw tayo. No, alam niyo, maraming miscommunication na nangyari dahil tinext mo lang. Dahil no, minessage mo lang. Hey, usap, usap tayo. No, heart to heart. And you know, this is a process eh. Hindi yan bigla mangyayari. Kailangan i-develop natin ito sa ating pamilya. Hindi to parang okay game. Hindi eh. You need to create that culture. We need to ask God's grace to change us, Lord, and ask forgiveness from the Lord, from each other. That if you know, we are not quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to anger then no, kailangan mo na ng realization there eh. so sige lapit tayo sa Lord and let's just pray right now you know allow the Lord to change us to change our families God has, even in the way God wants to relate with us, no? God wants us to bring to that place of what intimacy. You know, what sin does, sin is offense. No? And, you know, sin separates, you know, separates us from one another. When you're offended, you're going to do kasalanan, di ba? Around disconnection. And because we are sinful, we have also been disconnected to God. But through Jesus Christ, you know, through what? Jesus has done for us on the cross. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about talking about the personhood of Jesus Christ who who was very, very patient with us and who loves you unconditionally. Sige, lapit tayo sa Lord. Allow the Lord to change us. Yeah. If we need to repent, we need to ask forgiveness. Go ahead. No, ask forgiveness from the Lord. If you feel disconnected with the Lord, sabi sa Bible, call unto me. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things which you have not known. In another verse, sabi, you know, that those who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yeah, all you need to do is call. The amazing thing about God, God's line is never busy. No, he's always available 24-7. That if you call unto Him, there's a promise, call unto me, sabi ng Lord, and, no, and I will answer. No, call unto me. Those who call on the name of the Lord, they will be saved. Maybe maybe you need saving right now. Maybe, maybe your family needs saving right now. Maybe you don't know anymore what to do with, with, with your family or with your life. Go ahead, call on, call on the name of the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, call, call Jesus from your heart. Lord, we just we just come to you, God. Lord, when we humble ourselves to you, Lord, kami. We admit our wrongs, we admit our mistakes. Lord, we admit, Lord, the things that we need to change, God. Lord, we call to you. Jesus. God. Why don't we just worship the Lord right now? Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 
we sing Draw Me Close.
truly God you are all that we want and you're all that we ever need Lord help us Lord God help us to go to that place of intimacy first of all with you Lord help us to go back to that place of, of a deep connection Lord God in the name of Jesus I'd like to pray right now for everyone who maybe maybe you know you have felt disconnected with God for so long maybe for some of you God has just been a religion you know, just part of a tradition that you've been brought up with but I want you to know that Jesus is real and he loves you God loves you so much for God so loved the world that he gave his son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life you know, the Bible says that to them that believe he gave them the power to become what children of God to become a child of God and so I, I would like to you know, I would like to ask everyone right now to, to you know, what, what is what is at the beginning point of Christianity is to simply trust God to believe him with all your heart to trust what he has done for you on the cross you know, to them that believe he gave them the power to become a child of God to be brought into that family, to, to know that level of intimacy, to know that you are connected. You don't have to be disconnected. You don't have to feel far away. No, it's true. Sin separates us from God. No, sabi sa Romans 3.23, for all have sinned. No, and then we have fallen short of God. We haven't, we cannot reach God on our own. But then again, the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ. And if you trust Jesus with all your heart, you will find that that intimacy with him and so if, if you want to do that you want to know God you want to know God to be your father and to know him intimately I want you to pray this prayer with me right now so let's let's pray together pray this prayer with me Lord Jesus so you pray it out loud Lord Jesus today Lord I come to you Lumalapit po ako, Panginoon, asking forgiveness for all my sins. Patawarin mo ako, Lord, for all the things I've done wrong. And today, Lord, I trust you. I believe you. And I invite you to come into my heart. Change me, Lord transform me and starting today I declare that I will follow you all the rest of my life in Jesus name Amen Amen I'd like to pray right now for all the families represented here no, maybe, maybe you know, kahit ako nakita ko, I'm, I'm falling short of these three principles I just shared from God's Word. And I, we, we need to look into this and apply this. And sige, let's just come before the Lord and ask the Lord that we will be, we'll be able to do this by His grace. Lord, Lord, as you raise up godly families, Lord God, Lord, I pray right now we break the power of distance and disconnection in the family. Lord, anuman yung mga nagiging sagabal o mga bagay na nagiging hadlang para mas maging malaya yung aming pakikitungo, pakikipag-usap sa isa't isa sa aming nanay, tatay, sa aming asawa, Lord. Lord, we cast those things away. And Lord, we apply these things, Lord. We want to be, Lord God, quick to listen, slow to speak, and Lord God, slow to anger. Father, transform our families right now. Bring that connection back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we continually worship God, you know, we can start to give right now with our giving. Praise God. You're watching Destiny Church. If you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry, you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or log on to www.destinychurch.org.ph slash give.